In this video, I will share with you a great outfitting for the Zeus Mark II CL. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. My objective is to have a fast and reliable clipper. Just to let you know, any numbers in this video are subject to change as Star Citizen is still under development. Let's get started. For the power plants, I went for the Genoa, which is an industrial grade A power plant. The reason for this is it gives the most power output and also provides 24 pips for power distribution on the clipper, which is the most for size 2 generators. As a secondary power plant, I went for the JS400 Military Grade A. It has good power output, but it's the most durable power plant. So this gives me a certain level of reliability in case someone decides to target my power plants. For shield generators, I went with two ramparts. This is an industrial grade A shield generator. It gives the most amount of shield health points and a decent durability. For the third generator, I went with an FR76 which is a military grade A. This gives a decent amount of shield health points, but the best durability. Once again, this adds a certain level of reliability on the ship. If you want more reliability at a cost of a little bit of shield health points, you can go for two FR-76s and one rampart. For the Q drive, I went with the XL-1 military grade A. This is the best durability for quantum drives. It's the fastest spool up, which is very important when you need to switch into nav mode and the fastest acceleration once in quantum but it's not the best when it comes to fuel efficiency for the coolers i went with one snowpack which is an industrial grade a which provides the most amount of cooling for its secondary i went with the avalanche which is the military grade a it provides good cooling but also the most durability for the weapons i went with two size 4 attritions and for the turrets, I went with two size 3 attritions. The total cost of outfitting the clipper with this build is 657,850 AUEC. What's great about this build is the military coolers and shields have a 1 pip minimum to run. This allows for more flexibility when you need to distribute more pips into other systems. Let me know what other builds you would like to see in the comments. Before I let you go, I'd like to let you know that my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, I'll catch you on the next one.